ask the Director General for the National Sports Authority to respond, Th with your permission. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Uh, yes, indeed, this was uh, in a Kuforidia, one of our directories. Uh, so as the law requires, we uh, mobilized the IGF, and then at the time, we were to lodge the money, and then NSA receives 40% uh, of what we generate. In fact, due to challenges with the releases of funds, the government of Ghana funds uh, approved by, by, uh, by parliament, uh, we had a lot of challenges, so we wrote through our sector ministry uh, to the finance for, um, for them to review the sharing, because most of the years, uh, sometimes we do not even get releases from the controller and accountant general. I think that request uh, had been considered favorably, and currently as we speak, uh, we have 66% to the National Sports Authority, and then the, the 40 or 30, 34 to the, the uh, finance. That, after that, we, we've been able to um, manage with it, and now we lodge, and we have indicated to all our regional offices also to lodge whatever money that they um, uh, generate, and then uh, for their, their share to be given to them. Honorable Chair. Um, brother, I think uh, the latter part of it, you have answered your own question. My question is, the 11,220, between July uh, uh, 2019 and July 2020, that was what happened. So according to auditors, they urged many men to strictly abide by the regulation, but the amount, did it happen or not? Yes, yeah, so the, the, when we received the report, we wrote to the Kuforidia, because this happened in the Kuforidia, for them to confirm as to whether this amount was indeed not lodged. Uh, it was confirmed to us recently, and steps have been taken to pay back that amount that belonged. Yes. I think that is fine, but uh, as you are saying that now you have got the, the clearance, now you can spend up to a certain amount. But this was a mistake then. Chairman, I think, uh, uh, I don't know. The auditors, unfortunately for me, the auditors did not talk of refunding the money or paying the money back to. But I think, uh, Mr. Chairman, if you can uh, probably see that they did not get the approval, but they spent the money by going forward as we talk today. Now they have got the approval of about 30 something percent. But that money was spent without that. The auditors did not recommend for refund. So the chairman is aware. So the chairman handle. <laughs> Auditors, are you satisfied? You have not recommended any refund or whatever. Now they said they have the approval. Honorable Chair, our recommendation was first uh, they should lodge the amount into the non tax correction account before the split is done. But what they were doing was that they lodge in their own account and they spend. So once they are doing the right thing, we don't have any problem as to how to refund or something. That one is left to the Honorable um, Committee. Yeah, so you spend without authority. Now you have authority to spend. So we are going to ask you to refund this portion from your future uh, revenue. So the recommendation is that clerk take note the authority must refund this 11200 back to non tax revenue account. Let's move to the next one, paragraph 271. Thank you, Chairman. This has to do with uh, a Kumasi-related uh, issue. Prolonged interdiction of staff resulted in avoidable loss of 35000 173 Ghana cities. And in relation to Section 8 of the Labor Regulation uh, 2007, which stipulates that when an employer interdicts an employee, the employer shall pay not less than 
of the employee's salary for six months during the investigation, disciplinary or criminal proceedings of an offense for which the employee has been charged and pay the salary until uh, the decision has, has been brought to finality. In this case, it appears that we delayed either in uh, one, started the half payment, the 50% payment, and then also we delayed in bringing to a conclusion the matter within six months. Um, what is the update um, at the moment? Have we had a conclusion? And also, have we recovered? Or is the person still now working after the investigation, for which then uh, there shouldn't be an issue? Thank you so much, Chairman. Chairman, I will still want the Director General to respond to this. Thank you very much, Honorable uh, Chair. Indeed, this issue happened in 2018 uh, in relation to the number 12 expose. Uh, which was uh, uh, led by ANAS, and a number of officers then uh, were affected, including my own predecessor, who was the Director General then. Uh, so all of them were actually um, interdicted, and the investigation was directed by presidency. Um, they were investigated. Some of them uh, were exonerated, uh, others uh, were found culpable. This particular individual was part of them, those to be investigated. And to date, uh, we haven't received a report on him from the investigation. We've done a number of uh, uh, follow-ups at the, at, the, at the police service, uh, who also confirmed to us that indeed they are investigating the officer, but then it was commissioned, the investigation was commissioned by the president, so they will submit their report there, which we did a number of writings through our sector ministry to the presidency, for the report to be issued, so that we will know whether the person is found guilty for us to be act on it or is to be reinstated. Till date, uh, we haven't received such a finality, and it has been a challenge for us indeed, officer, uh, who is so involved. I am of the opinion that you have to make a determination on your own. So what you are telling me is that even beyond this period, he's being paid. Is that, is that what you're telling the, the, the committee, that he's still being paid although he's on interdiction? Because a determination of either guilty or not guilty has, has, has not been arrived at. Officer is still on interdiction, yes. The, the question is, is he still being paid the same salary? Or have we now corrected to 50% even? Where are we? So on interdiction, he gets 50% of his salary yes so we've corrected the wrong is that what you're telling us now there was a period where you were paying him full salary although he was under interdiction oh. been paid ever since that he was put uh, on interdiction he was to take 50 percent and this auditors find this way that if he was to be found guilty then it lasts for six months and therefore all the other payments that came after the six months which was still part of the 50 percent paid would have been recovered in favor of the state and as it still stands uh, the determination has not been uh, made and this is a report uh, up to 2020 in fact if he had appeared here also earlier because petition was made even to our governing board and they also advise that we still should seek the advice of, from the presidency. And I think the Honorable Chair, uh, with your good advice, direction, will help us to be able to bring finality to this particular matter. I, I, I think you are shirking your responsibility. In fact, I am of the opinion that you have the right to make a determination regardless of what the presidency might come up with. And I really think that after two years, you are not being fair to this gentleman, especially if he's innocent because with this tag he cannot get employed somewhere else and there's a tag that you not you per se but the institution has put on him and I think it's been very unfair and I really think that per forgive me but per my determination two years is too long and, and do not pass on the decisions some determination if you're firing him fire him if you're not firing him 
we have to come to a conclusion so that this state matter has to be brought to uh, you know a conclusion I'm, I'm i'm entirely not happy two years is a long time mr chairman i think this is above my pay grade i'll let you handle the rest of this mr chairman yeah um who is to make a determination whether he's in is i mean is guilty or not who is to make the interdiction the decision as of now if the the cid uh uh, 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 outfit of the Ghana uh, Police Service. They are the ones handling the matter. And um, uh, when was the last time you you visited them for for to see what is happening to the case? In fact, uh, a, a number of times we have written. When was the last um, time to the the Ghana Police Service? Eh? Yes. 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 Uh, last year, but I can't confirm the actual date. Um, I remember even the Labour Union, uh, the Labour Commission, the gentleman uh, you said you have written to them, yes. to the police. Yes, we have a number of Do you have a copy of that letter? Chairman, we will furnish you with some of these correspondence uh, and the petitions that we gathered uh, over this period. You have it's, a not, copy. it's not here yet. Uh, yes, we have copies. Yes, sure. Yeah. Have you really written to the police? Yes, please. We have. When, we have, we have written write? to. We've written to. When did you write? When did you write to the police? It, when? when I, I assumed office 2019, we wrote a number of letters following up. The legal unit, which is also under us, has also made uh, um, follow-ups. At some point, the gentleman was even at the Labour Commission, and we were invited last year. Uh, all of us appeared before the Labour. We have all these correspondence that I can make available copies. Uh, today, right. today. You knew you were coming to answer questions on this particular issue. Why didn't you bring, Why didn't you bring the necessary uh, correspondence? You think we are case over here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
those letters you say you've written to the police yes can you give us a copy that is what i indicated to the chairman that i'll make them available because sir what did you think you were coming here to do didn't you know that these you have been cited for these items then you come and sit here in presence of the uh, committee you tell us that you bring it later on did you think you were coming here for us to ask you how you were doing Uh, Chairman, thank you. Now, my difficulty with, with you handling this matter is that you are linking the internal determination to the police investigations, which ought not to be. The, if you are pursuing a criminal matter against the gentleman, it does not detract from you handling internal disciplinary inquiry matters. That is to determine his status, whether he remains in your employ or not. So he can be in your employ and still go through the criminal prosecution if you determine that he, he deserves to be in your employment. You can also make a determination and terminate him, whether it's fair or not fair, that termination can happen and still pursue the criminal prosecution. So, so by any means necessary, lawfully you must exercise the internal mechanisms under the labor act to determine his fate because given his circumstance now he's pursuant to the labor law entitled to only 50 percent of his emolument not the emolument in fact his salary because other allowances will not be paid until the final determination of the disciplinary issues and I recall, if you say that this matter didn't come out, I recall that last year, sometime when we met here, either June or May, this matter came up. We don't want the auditors to flag this matter later this year. So please, we are directing that you deal with this matter as the, as the head of the institution, effectively once and for all. Chairman, thank you. <coughs> Is there a case still with the Labor Commission? Yes, sir. And what is delaying the determination by the Labor Commission? Mr. Chairman, as I indicated in my earlier submission, um, because the investigation was commissioned not by us, but then we were to act to make the officer interdicted. So we, were, we indicated to the Labor Commission that we have we are still pursuing to get a, a, a report, in fact, a directive, for us to be able to even know the outcome of that investigation. You see, the ANAS issues, uh, most of these evidences are not uh, available to us. The police has them, and they say we did not commission that investigation. But this is 2018. The interdiction took place in 2018, June. And so it's well over three years. Don't you think that the matter is being prolonged too much? Indeed, indeed, it is prolonged because at the time before my predecessor, then there was acting that general, uh, my own brother, uh, Alaji uh, uh, Majid Bawa. He even initiated this uh, process of the interdiction. And then I came in 2019. But it's, it's yes. been delayed too much. Yes, I, I, I agree with you. And I'm not sure that um, the last time that Labor Commission called this case, is, I'm sure it will be more than six months or a year. So it, virtually nothing has been done about the case. Yes. Nothing has been done about the case. Now, I want you to furnish the committee with the correspondence between your office and the Labor Commission. And uh, Clark, we are going to recommend that the Labor Commission expedite action on this case um, so that they can come to early determination. All right. 
That will be all for you, uh, but I think there is some probably interest question from uh, Deputy Rankin. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much, Chairman. Minister, um, it has to do with the Black Stars. Um, I know that immediately after the, the finals of the World Cup, countries who, uh, for one reason or the other, lost their or uh, sacked their coaches, have made efforts to recruit new ones. I know of Portugal, Belgium is doing the same and all of that. But I do not see that from Ghana. Um, what really are you doing? Because it looks like it's become a matter of public interest. And every Ghanaian who loves football and follows the Black Stars would want immediately a, a new Black Star coach. So, Minister. Th thank you so much, Chairman. Chairman, yes, indeed, after the World Cup, countries that lost their uh, head coach have made effort of replacing them. And you've mentioned countries like Portugal, France, and uh, they've even renewed. Some of them contracts have been renewed. In Ghana, the FA, which is the agency or the organization uh, in charge of making sure that uh, they hire a coach, is in the process. And uh, I personally have engaged them, and uh, they are working to us at last week. The indication was that they will bring the final report to the ministry possibly this week or next week. And because uh, I also know that uh, we have an assignment in March and we need to have a, a replacement of head coach in place so that he can start preparing in earnest to get our team in place for the Afghan qualifiers which is going to take place in March. So indeed the country should be assured that the FA is working to ensure that we get a replacement. Th thank you very much. Um, uh, my second question probably oh, would go to the Director General. I mean, this um, Christmas festivities, a lot of activities happen at Accra Sports Stadium. Um, we have had political parties even hold programs at Accra Sports Stadium. If you were to compare the amounts paid to you and the amounts of repairing or recovering those green grass and all of that, do you think that it is prudent that we continue to hold high events where grasses uh, are destroyed each and every time? Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, for, for this question also. Uh, you know the National Sports Authority uh, uh, um, uh, uh, owns, on behalf of the state, the state-owned uh, facilities. And you know, a stadium is actually a multi-purpose in function, uh, which can be utilized for may, many other activities, many sports. In fact, our 47 sporting associations, all of them have place in there. But there are also other non-sporting activities like uh, other entertainments, uh, which can also be uh, uh, accommodated. And I think our political parties, this is not the first time, but I think last year in particular, we received the National Democratic Congress that came in to also do their Congress uh, successfully. Uh, the National, the New Patriotic Party was also there. The many question others. is, the, the revenue that you generate from hiring a place, <laughs> is it sufficient enough to repair the damages? You are talking too much. Yes, the, the, what we generate uh, helps to repair. For, for damage to the, the, the facility, I think I would say, uh, it's not really of a burden. The, the positive aspect of revenue generation, which is very uh, positive for the running of the organization, especially when you look at the last year, the budget that you approved for us, uh, by the end of it, we, we got, yes, we realized the, the goods and services we receive only about 287,000. So this, this IGF arrangement that we do are harmless to the, 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 the infrastructure, and it's a good way of the organization also to generate revenue. Yes, yes. So, Mr. Chairman, um, yes. I think there's a technology that... Order, order, order. I think there's a... All our members, order. I think there's a technology that we can apply to ensure that even when the money that they pay to us will not be able to rejuvenate the, the fields. 
uh, will be in a better position in a way that they will not be spoiled. Now, they, we have some uh, carpets that you can put on the grass. And no matter how they step on the grass, it will not be destroyed in a manner beyond uh, redemption, if I may put it that way. So that is what we should be applying. So are you considering that? As a ministry? Chairman, yes, it's something that we are considering, and I've engaged the Director General several times that any time they are going to use, there is any activity. We are not asking the uh, authority not to allow uh, social events to take place on the field. But if the need be, and they are going to do so, it is a global practice. You cover the, the field, and when you ask, they say the field is covered, but at the end of the day, then it's not, it's not covered, then the damage is done. So he has to give us assurance that, if he's, because he gives the approval for the social events to take place, if any social event is going to take place on the field, the field has to be covered nationwide. If you can give the assurance to the committee, I'll be grateful. Director General, can you give assurance to this committee that you do as we are requesting? Yes, yes, Honorable uh, Chair. Uh, uh, no, I, oh, I, I said yes. Okay, you, yes, yes, you do that. Do you have the what you you going to use to cover the field? Do you have them already? Yes, on which we do have materials for covering, except that, as my uh, chief director indicated, there are better technologies that can cover and preserve better than what we have now. And that's why are you not using what you have now? That's why what you are pursuing. Using? Why are you not using what you have now? Why? It's a, it's a huge investment, uh, on which oh. ah. no, no, what what we have now we use. You use yes, but the, the last the, time, the, the last it, time I entered the stadium, you didn't you cover anything. Oh, you didn't. I was at our congress, NDC congress. I was there. You didn't cover the field. Nothing was there. The NDC congress in particular. Yes. Uh, if you look at the usage mm. per the agreement we had, mm. then the setup were to be on the astroturf. Okay. And leaving the the, the glass material. Field. Okay. Yes. Uh, on time. Anyway, but we didn't, we didn't use the field. Yes, actually, yes. That, that's that's the thing. Yes. But with respect to the MPP Congress, we use the field, mm. and it was not covered. No, you see, I'm only saying this so that, because you see, your minister says that on several occasions he has directed you, but you have done nothing about it. And and if you were to look at the cost involved in repairing the field, after this, after every event. Shatawale recently held a, an event. He covered the entire field. So, Director General, take it serious. Yes, we don't have event centers, but we have the sports stadium. But at least for the green grass, let's protect it for the, for the football, please. Honorable Isaac. Thank you, Chairman. Chairman, on the, on the first issue, I just want to know from the minister whether uh, local coaches are being considered. 